Hey guys, welcome to another Form Titan 101 video on how to generate Word document from Salesforce and push it to files or attachments using FT Generate button. So in the last video, we looked at how we're going to set up a template. This is my template here, which is going to pull through my opportunity and its product and its final amount. So this is all well and good and we, and we showed you how to push that into your form, but then how do we go ahead and generate, but then make sure once we've generated the Word document, it pushes it into files or notes and attachments. I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So to do that, we're going to first go into our form. This is my form here. And in the last video, I showed you how to set up your Word mapping. If you don't know how to do that, please make sure you check out the last video, uh, which is the number eight video and you should learn how to set up your uh, word mapping. So we've got a word template set up, it's all good. Now, all we wanna make sure is that once we generate the uh, documents, it pushes to files or attachments and you can use for any object, um, any files or attachments within that object, the principle is the same. All right, let's get started. So we'll go into our Salesforce integration, we'll click push and our first one is going to be files and the files are called content version and we're going to say files and the action is going to be create let's go ahead and map a couple of our fields so our title we'll give it a custom title custom configure and we'll call it uh, let's call it invoice word doc invoice for word doc. Click apply and then our next one is going to be let's have a look which one so we've got version data and this is going to be our word mapping so let's have a look there we go word mapping that's all we have to select and our published location ID needs to be our opportunity ID so it's going to say where do you want to publish this and I'm going to say publish here where my opportunity ID is once you've done that, let's have a look at our map fields. So we've done three, title, we've told what title is. We said what kind of template we want to use. I'm gonna say word mapping. And where do we wanna publish it in our opportunity ID? Click apply, apply, and that's your files ready. Now let's do the same, but for attachments. So we'll go in there and we'll say attachments. Let's give it another comment. Uh, again, the action is going to be create. Let's map our fields. So the first thing we'll say the body is going to be our word mapping. We'll say the file name will be custom and we'll call it configure. We'll say attachment invoice word doc. If I can spell attachment correctly. There you go. Click apply. And I believe there's one more we have to do, which is the parent ID. And that's going to be our opportunity ID. So let's have a look quickly. Let's check out our mapped. And this is what we've done. We've, we've done a map. Uh, so, we, so we said payment as payment. I said parent ID. And then our next one is going to be file name. And then our final one is going to be our body. And our body is going to be word mapping. That's all you have to do, click apply, apply again, and there you go, you, we've now got it set up. Let me just quickly change here. Not sure what's happening today, keep spelling attachment wrong. There you go, all done. So once we finish, we'll save. Let's now go back into our um, Salesforce here. We'll click generate document. So let me just check if it's gonna pull through um, my uh, word just to see it's all set up correctly and if it is we'll do a quick uh, generate okay very good so it's all set up perfect now let's go and generate so we're gonna say action and we'll say generate it's generating now cool perfect all done now all we have to do is check and see what's happened. We'll go to our integration logs. And the time here is 13.18. So we only have to give it a couple of um, seconds and then our 
uh, files and attachments should appear here practically any second. So let's have a look. There you go. Our files and attachments have arrived. Now, I'm not going to click through there. I'll just take you back in the opportunity to refresh it, and then we can just check them out in there. Cool. Here we go. Let's click it here. So it's getting a preview ready. That's Salesforce side of things. It's a bit slow there, but we can always, there's our attachment. Remember, we gave it a custom name. So let's just download it and see how it looks from our side. Yes. So let me just pull this across. It's appeared on my other screen. And there you go. Have a look. Form Titan is pulled through all the data and the final amount. And that's how you do it. That's how you set up um, your push to make sure that once you generate your document, it pushes through into Salesforce correctly and you can view that data in your files or attachments for your Word document. Thank you for watching this video.